What a just annoying Twins game it was today. Uh, this among the several annoying things. Uh, Sonny Gray walks in a, wa- a run, uh, excuse me, on this pitch that is in the strike zone, very easily in the strike zone. Um, I kind of loved Rocco's quote from post game. You know, I'm not here to argue balls and strikes, and but it was a strike. I'm not going to argue, but I'm going to argue. <laughs> uh, but just to to show some more of this second inning, it was just just a mess. Uh, Julian didn't make a play he could have. Gray walked in another run, and the O's just got a bunch of batted ball luck. Um, you know, you make your own luck for sure, but. Um, certainly not giving up a lot of damage, a lot of hard hits from Sonny Gray, and they get away with six runs. Happens. Uh, here are the pitching line. Sonny Gray gives up those six runs. Still goes six innings, though. Uh, Oliver Ortega is turning to be uh, somebody to keep an eye on. And good to see Jorge Lopez pitch a clean inning. Hopefully he b- continues to build momentum. On the hitting side, uh, Donovan Solano had three doubles. Uh, so that was great, but they were 0 for 8 with runners in scoring position. So uh, an annoying inning uh, pitching-wise there in the second inning. That kind of just faded all hope, it felt like. And then an annoying performance by the lineup once again. Uh, but we learned that Pablo Lopez has been named to the American League All-Star team. So that was the good news of the day. Um, good to see him get recognized. This is his first time, too. Uh, moving to the Saints highlights. This is Austin Martin. He shoots a double through the gap all the way to the wall here. Very well-placed ball. Um, And Elliott Soto scores all the way from first base on that one, hustling. He had to actually check back because it looked like it might be caught by the second baseman. Uh, But Martin got enough in that again to get it all the way to the wall. Good to see him playing. He was playing second base for the Saints tonight. Uh, His fifth game, I believe, since coming back to them. Simeon Woods Richardson did not start this game. Brent Hedrick started this game, only went two innings, and then Woods Richardson took over, and he was tremendous. It was great to see him pitching well again. Five innings pitched, three hits, one run, one walk, and seven strikeouts in five innings. Once again, 81 pitches, so he certainly got his work in. Um, But this is a guy who has a 6.79 ERA on the season now. Um, Seemed frustrated at himself at parts of this one, even though, though he only gave up one run. In five innings, it was on a solo homer, uh, but apparently working on some stuff that maybe is not going as well as he was hoping for. Anyway, moving on down to Wichita. Check out the game situation here. Eighth inning, Aaron Sabato up with a runner on. He hits a game-tying opposite field home run here, um, and he's missed some time. Uh, Sabato, this was his fifth home run. Uh, He now has played 33 games for Wichita Has an 821 OPS. Not much batting average there, but the guy's getting on base and doing some damage. Again, his fifth home run, and then that tied it up in the eighth. Alaric Solare in the ninth inning took care of business to put the surge up for good. They win this one. This is Solare's sixth home run. He's also missed some time. Uh, 40 games in the season for Solare. He has an 871 OPS. And mentioned it the other day, this guy's got a really tight and quiet and quick swing. Uh, actually, the uh, number one and two picks of the Twins back in the 2020 draft there. Sabato and Solare getting it done for Wichita. On down to Cedar Rapids, Tanner Schobel still still just crushing it. This guy was on fire in June, and he's carrying it over to July so far. Uh, great to see out of him. This was his 14th home run on the season. He has an 850 OPS. He was really bad in April. And has turned it on since then. Here you see that swing. And this was long gone. Well over that center field wall for Tanner Schobel. And actually they weren't done in the first inning. Uh, Noah Miller also hit a three-run home run in the first inning. But somehow they find a way to lose. Yeah, the Cedar Rapids. Two first inning home runs. Four runs in the first inning. They lose. Ben Ross also had a three-hit night for them. Oh, by the way. Um, here are the pitching uh, stats. Again, Brent Hedrick, who kind of is returning to the minors, had been in that long relief role, very much out of his routine of being a starter. Uh, so he only went two innings before Woods Richardson took over, and he was great too, oh, by the way. Uh, here are the results. Thanks for checking this one out. Thanks to all the members here, the premium members. We'll talk again soon.